So for about a while now, I have been telling myself how I have to film this video. I have to get it done because it's something that you guys have been asking me to do and this is just something that I need to do and I have put it off for a while and now it's just all coming together and I'm like, oh crap, I really need to do this. And the time has come, my friends. It is time for me to show you what is in my makeup bag. Um, I have been using this makeup bag for a while now. For the last, I want to say around like six or seven months I've been using this. Have not changed it. I've been telling myself you have to empty it out because it's gotten way too heavy. But whenever like I emptied it out, I never fully emptied it out. And um, when I had my what's in my purse video, I pulled this out and everybody's like, holy crap, your makeup bag is gigantic. Let us see a video. So now you are going to finally witness me emptying this bad boy out and finally showing you what I have in here. And now I'm going to tell you this right now. I did not put anything in here. You know, there's no weird, odd stuff. It's just a lot of makeup. And for the record, yes, I do carry this in my purse with me every single day unless I'm going out or I pack a clutch with me. Other than that, I have been keeping this with me. So, um, this is, I don't even know what this is. By the way, this is my mom's from like the 80s. This is really, really old. And this was, this is actually a travel bag. Like when you go, like, bleh, when you're, uh, when you're traveling and you need, like, to put your, like, shampoos and little conditioners stuff in here. Yeah, that's what it's for, and I'm using it as a makeup bag. So, when I open this up, you're going to see all this crap. Um, and the first thing I see when I open this is, well, is my Alme Smart Shade Makeup. I really don't use this a lot anymore. I'm actually really not crazy about this, so I don't even know why this is still in my bag. That's one. Um, the second thing, I'm not gonna, why am I saying the numbers of the things? Anyway, um, my e.l.f. brush, this is just the, um, complexion blush. I just use this as a powder, like, you know, during the day I touch up my face, whatever. And yes, that's what it looks like. And I really love this brush a lot. Great quality and a very good price. Um, my lash stiletto mascara, and this mascara is, oh, amazing. Love this. Love this. This is excellent. Um, and in this video, you're going to see a lot of mascaras, and I'm going to apologize right now if you're not a mascara person, because I'm a mascara freak. Um, I have my eyelash curler in here, and this is just... A really, really old Revlon eyelash curler, but I fell in love with this, and I refuse to get rid of this, so yeah. I have a nail polish in here. I should definitely take out. Yeah. I put a lot of my nail polishes in my makeup bag. I have my Revlon Lip Butter, and this is in the color Creme Brulee, and this is what it looks like. That's the color of it. Um, my e.l.f. eyelid primer, um, this is a very, very good primer for the price it is. This was a dollar, and for primer, this is excellent, and the price is just the bomb. I do recommend that. Um, I have an old Revlon Color Stay makeup uh, liquid foundation. I actually have to throw this out. I don't know why I still have it. But I have a newer one of it. Yeah, it's right here. And this looks older, but I'm sorry. The makeup like did not explode right properly. Out. And yeah, the makeup just came out. So, old, new. I mean, really. Ugh. God, get rid of this one. Oh, and I'm in the color... What color am I? Toast. 370 Toast. Um... Oh, I'm being very rough. I have my e.l.f. tinted moisturizer, and I love this tinted moisturizer a lot. And I also have my um, Rimmel Fix and Perfect Foundation Primer, and this is in the color 001. I have... Where's the other part of this? Shoot. Well, there was my powder 
my face powder and this is the Makeup Forever professional face powder and here's the one part of it and the other part is somewhere in here I hope um, I have my Revlon lip gloss and this is in Orchid and I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now I've been wearing this a lot lately I love this color I have my um, Mark Mark Cosmetics Mascara, and this is in Lash All You Want High Definition Mascara. I love that. I have, oh, here comes the mascaras, so take a seat, people. Um, I have the Maybelline True Volume. This is a really old one, but it still has mascara in it. I have my um, Volume Accelerator from... I think this is Maybelline, I can't see, or Rimmel London, yeah. Lash, Lash Accelerator by Rimmel London. Um, I have my e.l.f. contouring blush and uh, contour kit. Um, I have another e.l.f. blush, and this is in the color Tickled Pink. Made in China. I have, oh no, where's the cap to this? Shoot. I have my Maybelline Age Rewind Stick, and now I'm going to have to clean this because the cap is MIA, not in here. I have, which should not be in here, my, well, this is an empty contact holder. And this is like just in case if I don't have my contact holder with me and like what my my eyes are bothering me. I always keep my glasses with me, but never my contact holder, which is stupid. So I just keep a backup one just in case. There's nothing in here, it's empty. <clears throat> I have my Maybelline Falsies mascara and I am a new to this and I have to say this has been out for a really long time and I just recently purchased this not too long ago and so far I am loving this a lot. I've been actually purchasing a lot of new mascaras lately which I definitely will make a video on. I have um, a couple of MAC eyeshadows lingering in here. I have I have not depotted them yet. This is um, Beautiful Iris, and this is just a really pretty purple, and that's by MAC. And then I have, um, this is, this is supposed to look like the, um, crap, I forgot what it's called. But, um, this forgot. is Shroom, and it's just a really natural color. It's supposed to blend in with your eyelid and give it a little, like, shimmer to it. This is, oh, 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 now I know what it's supposed to be. This is supposed to look like, um, the Urban Decay Primer in Sin. Because Sin, it's a primer, but it has, like, a little bit of a shimmer to it. And this is the eyeshadow that does look like it. So, love that. I have, oh, another one, and this is... Oh, this is, um, Crystal, I think Crystal Avalanche. It's kind of smudged off. And I have reached pan to this, and I used to use this all the time when I was in dance recitals. Yes, I'm a dancer, and I used to use this all the time because our makeup had to be very, it had to stand out, and it had to be bold, and this was one of the colors I used on my eyes. I have another, oh, I have another Maybelline True Volume Mascara. I have my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer. This is my holy grail. I love it. Can't live without it. This is amazing. If you have not tried it, I highly recommend this too. Um, I have my holy grail blush. I have my NYX blush in terracotta I don't know some people say terracotta terracotta I'm saying it with like a little Italian accent but yeah and I'm in love with this blush I've been wearing this almost every day no joke love it I'm going to keep on buying this forever and ever and ever love 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 um and this is just a very pretty like shimmery honey kind of color and it looks great um I have my MAC Studio Finish Concealer, and I am in NC35, and you have definitely seen this in my foundation routine, which I had put up not too long ago. Uh, I have 
a nail filer, which is kind of dirty. I need to throw that out. I have um, a lipstick in here from Revlon, and it is in the color Spicy Cinnamon, and I have... I kind of wore this a lot, not really. I wanted to experiment with dark colors, and I wore it, and I definitely had a love-hate relationship with it, so I wanted, I still keep it in here, just in case if I want to be daring or bold one day, but I am definitely a light-colored lipstick, but I just want to experiment with darker colors. Um, I have this, I think this is, yeah, this is Jordana Sealer. Jordana kind of old, but this is a really good one. This is an oldie, but a goodie at the same time. I keep this for emergencies, just in case. Um, I have two more things left. I have my e.l.f. lipstick, and this was in the color... Nicely Nude, and I really like this one a lot. I had, um, I'm really not a lipstick person. And I do like the color with this, but I definitely have to wear a lipstick over it. So as you can see, I think you can kind of see on top, there's like another color to it. But um, I really do like the color to this a lot. Um, and last, oops, it fell. Last but not least, I have my other, okay. I have my Revlon lipstick in Rose and Shine. And like, no joke that the whole month of December, I was wearing this lipstick and like, I completely... It's like dead now. Not dead, but like almost gone. Like, hello, that's all I have left. And it's like, it's at that odd stage in its lipstick life where like, you're like, by you pressing so hard on it and putting so many coats on, it's kind of like, meh, like tilted. And it has that lip, it's just so gross. But I love this color. And yeah, that is it. That's what's in here. Oh, and some... What is this? I don't even know what that is. But I have, I got a new makeup bag for Christmas and I'm finally, finally, finally going to put my new makeup in it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Pip, pip, cheerio. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm gonna see you in my next video. Mwah. Don't forget to subscribe. It makes me happy. It makes me smile. And it makes me do a little dance. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Just kidding. If you want to see me dance some more, then subscribe some more. It's totally free. Just hit the button or wherever it is on what you're looking me at. If it's on your computer, it should be up here or over there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this is awkward.